On Wednesday, September 25, 2024, China successfully launched an intercontinental ballistic missile, ICBM, into the Pacific Ocean, marking a historic event that has drawn international attention. The missile, believed to be a DF-41, was launched at 8.44 a.m. Beijing time by the People's Liberation Army Rocket Force. China's Ministry of Defense emphasized that this launch was part of routine annual military exercises and not directed at any specific nation, although the strategic implications have raised concerns globally. The DF-41 or Dongfeng-41 is China's longest-range ICBM, with an estimated maximum range between 12,000 and 15,000 kilometers. This range allows it to potentially strike targets anywhere in the United States or Europe, reinforcing its significance in China's strategic deterrence. Designed for mobile deployment, the DF-41 can be launched from roads, railways, or silos, giving China remarkable flexibility in its nuclear posture. The missile is powered by a three-stage solid-fuel engine and is capable of carrying up to 10 independently targetable nuclear warheads, MIRVs. This allows it to hit multiple targets simultaneously with a high degree of accuracy. Its inertial guidance system, enhanced with stellar or satellite updates, has an estimated circular error probable CEP, of around 100 meters, underlining its precision. Developed by the China Academy of Launch Vehicle Technology CLT, the DF-41 has been in development since at least 2012, and it entered limited production by 2019. During China's 70th anniversary parade, 16 DF-41 launchers were publicly displayed, signaling its importance in the country's strategic arsenal. The launch of the DF-41 coincides with China's ongoing efforts to modernize its nuclear deterrent, in response to advancements in global missile defense systems and increasing surveillance by countries like the United States. Experts, such as Ankit Panda from the Carnegie Endowment for International Peace, point out that the launch may reflect China's attempts to counter the growing capabilities of U.S. missile defenses. While China typically conducts missile tests within its own territory, the latest ICBM test, aimed into the Pacific Ocean, represents a shift in behavior. The Chinese Ministry of Defense confirmed that the missile landed in predetermined maritime areas and achieved its intended objectives. The international community, especially countries in the region, had been informed in advance, the ministry added. The last time China conducted a full-range ICBM test was in May 1980, involving a DF-5 missile. This test comes after revelations earlier this year about China's advanced missile technology. In May 2023, leaked U.S. intelligence reports indicated that China had successfully tested a new intermediate-range ballistic missile IRBM, the DF-27, equipped with a hypersonic glide vehicle, HGV. This missile reportedly traveled 2,100 kilometers in 12 minutes during its February 2023 test, demonstrating China's growing prowess in missile technology. The DF-27 is estimated to have a range of 5,000 to 8,000 kilometers, potentially putting key U.S. military assets in places like Guam, Alaska, and Australia within reach. China's missile advancements are part of a broader strategy to modernize its military capabilities, particularly its nuclear forces. According to a 2023 Pentagon report, China now possesses over 500 operational nuclear warheads, a figure expected to surpass 1,000 by 2030. In line with this, China is constructing hundreds of new silos for ground-based ICBMs, increasing the country's ability to deliver a retaliatory strike in the event of conflict. China's missile modernization efforts contrast starkly with those of other major nuclear powers. While the United States and Russia each have over 1,700 deployed nuclear warheads, China's arsenal remains significantly smaller. However, its focus on sophisticated missile technology, including MIRVs and HGVs, enhances its ability to penetrate missile defense systems, offsetting the numerical gap. Despite this buildup, China maintains a no-first-use nuclear policy. Its arsenal remains under the control of the Central Military Commission, led by President Xi Jinping. However, the region remains tense, especially with the increase in Chinese military activities around Taiwan. On the same day as the DF-41 test, Taiwan's Ministry of Defense reported that 23 Chinese military aircraft had been detected near the island, further escalating tensions. China's latest ICBM test also fits into a larger pattern of intensified missile activity across the Asia-Pacific region. In September 2024, North Korea launched a series of short-range ballistic missiles toward the Sea of Japan, further contributing to the heightened military activity in the area. These developments are increasing concerns about stability and security in the region, 
as China and other nations continue to build and test advanced missile systems. China's missile arsenal plays a pivotal role in its anti-access-slash-area denial A2-slash-AD strategy, which is designed to counter U.S. and allied forces' ability to project power into the Asia-Pacific. By developing capabilities such as maneuverable anti-ship ballistic missiles, MIRVs and HGVs, China seeks to challenge the survivability of U.S. military assets, including aircraft carriers and forward air bases. China's latest DF-41 missile test underscores its commitment to modernizing its nuclear arsenal and enhancing its strategic deterrence capabilities. As China continues to develop sophisticated missile systems, it will increasingly shape the security landscape in the Asia-Pacific region. While China insists that its military exercises are routine and not directed at any specific country, its expanding missile capabilities are undoubtedly raising concerns among global powers, particularly the United States and its regional allies.